can have it in the. What? This is you got you got a museum stashed in the corner. Yep. Yep. <laughs> What's up? Chaz here. We're in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, we're actually here for the Harlem Skyscraper here this weekend, but right now we're gonna go check out RNA Cycles, one of the biggest bike shops in Brooklyn, been around forever. Things are always crazy here in Brooklyn. Here we are, you can check it out. They said look for the blue building to look for my man Al. Here he is. What's up, Al? Hey, what's up, Chaz? This is the original Brooklyn store. How long? This has been here since 1976? 1976. 1976. My father started the business. It was one year in. We were doing a bunch of different things and, and right away realized that premium cycling is where it's at. So we started importing a lot of really cool products from Italy and France, um, as well as you know some U.S. manufacturers. And immediately we, we found our, our stride in the industry. We, we started to realize that customer service was always important for, uh, front and center. But also, you know, in order to sell something, you have to have it. So we used to stock a lot and buy a lot and sell a lot. And customers all over the world used to come here to Brooklyn just to get their product. The old style of shop was much more crammed and jammed up, uh, but because of our fulfillment center and our, our event space, we're able to, to be a little bit more presentable and more spacious for our clients. You know? so, so do you want to see cramped? Yeah, show me cramp. Right, this up? is modern Brooklyn RNA, and I'll show you over here. The old school? Yeah, I'll show you old school. We still left a little old school. And as you fade into this room, I just want you to fade upwards. Okay. And you can see this is old school. This is what the whole store. <laughs> and this is what it used this to be. This is what the whole store looked like. And by the way, that's Phil right there, founder of RNA Cycles. Hey, what's up, Phil? How's it going? Many Not of bad. you guys know who he is, and that's the infamous Phil. That's, that's <laughs> the infamous Phil. I mean, this in my mind, when I think about a bike shop in Brooklyn, this is, you know, got the, the frames hanging up, all the wheels. What's going on up here in the front? Not just more, more just bikes. More, just more bikes. More bikes. Everything. You say that casually, but then you've just got like these insane Colnagos up here. Up here. Whoa, so you got, so over here we got the gnarliest carbon. And so this is, pre, this is pre-Aero era. This is before I oh, yeah. even really was working here full time. This but, so is this is, but I mean, this is what modern aero bikes look now, but these yeah. bikes are what, like 15 years old? 20. 20 years old. They're That's crazy. Old. And then, but then you got, this is. So these are the fixie at heart, man. Look at this. Oh, the masters. We Everyone even knows. Have, we even have the arabesque, which is the modern arabesque, but these are the original tubes from the arabesque. So a lot of people don't realize that my back before the 90s, before Park Slope was like the hippest place to be, <laughs> um, you, you wouldn't be caught out dead here at night. So um, basically, uh, my grandfather was buying buildings here and trying to help bring up the community. And when that was happening, um, the community started to get better, but very slowly, yeah. right? So if you look across the street, you'll see the discount store, which is closed right now, but that, that's my uh, my grandfather's, you know, God rest his soul. And, uh, one day he painted all the buildings blue and nobody understood why. <laughs> 10 years later, which is like 20 years ago, we find out it's because it reminds them of my grandmother's eyes, which are crystal blue. So we were That's like, amazing. Right. so we try to keep painting them blue. So this place, uh, I worked with a, a specialty designer and, and both him and I designed it together. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a warehouse. Yes, we do a lot of fulfillment. Uh, we ship our bikes here. But it's not really just that. Um, I always feel that anywhere that we work should be comfortable, should be nice, should be pleasant. And at the same time, our bikes need to feel good when they're getting built. Yeah. So this is the space we set up. All right, time to see the roof. Yeah. So we took you to the third floor first. Which Whoa, is basically this all is our nuts. What? So, this is uh, like every cyclist's dream. Oh, yeah. What's it? That's the attic? That's that's the secret spot up there. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's one of our hard to get to, but we needed the space type of spaces. This corridor is kind of like the the lost toys uh, yeah. of, of our business. So you'll see. Look, but at it's also like the history. You got the roof rack. You got everything you need. Now, if you look up, you'll probably see some old zips oh, up yeah, there. Yeah, you go speed weaponry. The yeah. old logos. You guys were one of the first shops that was really stocking all of the stuff in the 70s and 80s that you could only get from Europe. Yep. This is a big commitment to order all this stuff and have it on demand. Because before I imagine it was a lot like, I want this thing and you're like, cool, we'll order it, it'll be here in a couple months. Yep. But you were the shop that you could be like, what color do you want? Exactly. You know, you had literally had it stocked in. And this is just a continuation of that story where it's like, I don't even think it's a problem not throwing stuff out. You just always have what everyone needs. I just, this is And nuts. you guys might think this is just sitting Dude, here. Dude, this is an old 202, tub yep. a tubular, tubular 202. Too. We have it in there. What? This is you got you got a museum stashed in the corner. Yep, yep. We're Dude, not with ready. the, pit, We're with not the ready to open up the museum yet. What? 
Dude, look at this. Okay, for those of you who don't know, it's called NOS. It is not from Fast and the Furious. It stands for new old stock. And it's stuff from like 30 or 40 years ago that's still in the original packaging. They have non-stop new old stock everything. All right. Look at we got Brooklyn in the background. We got my man Al with RNA Cycles keeping it alive. Thank you so much for showing me everything from the original store to the fulfillment center to the secret cave with all the parts from everything that you ever <laughs> wanted. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and Al will get back to you or I'll get back to you. Someone will get back to you. And really, check out RNA Cycles. You got Brooklyn, you got Walnut Creek. There's gonna be other spots opening up we can't talk about it yet, but they'll be there. If you need them online, check it out. RNA Cycles, my man Al, making you faster. Welcome, call me if you need me. Call anybody if you need us. There you Thanks go. Thanks a lot for joining. Have a good one.